Hej och välkommen till The Norden, en serie i vilken vi granskar den omtalade nordiska välfärden bara att vi gör det genom en utomstående betraktares ögon. Frågan är hur det samhälle vi nordbor egentligen har byggt upp. I det här avsnittet ska James Conway, före detta fängelsechef från USA, få bekanta sig med nordiska fängelser. Också kallade världens mest humana. Was this fence here then? Yes. They cut it through. We would never allow an individual to cover their, their face up. I would think the crime victims would, would be opposed to this type of a living arrangement for the, for the criminal. That's far from a prison in my, in my experience. I Norden sitter cirka 17 000 personer i fängelse och det är en mycket liten mängd av befolkningen om man jämför internationellt. Och de nordiska fängelserna, ja de beskrivs ju ofta som hotell snarare än en bestraffning. Mycket humana förhållanden, internerna har många rättigheter och straffen de är rätt korta dessutom. Så på ett sätt så är det väl lite förvånande att vi inte har fler fångar än vi har här i Norden. Och vem toppar statistiken? Jo, USA med sina tuffa, ogästvänliga, knökfulla fängelser. Och det borde ju vara tvärtom, eller hur? Så betyder snällare fängelser färre intagna? Inte om du frågar James Conway i varje fall. Conway är före detta chef för Attica State Prison i New York- känt som ett av de allra tuffaste högsäkerhetsfängelserna i USA. New York State and the Department of Correctional Services are not responsible for you being an inmate. And that means you put yourself here. Don't don't blame the department, don't blame the staff, don't blame the judge, don't blame society. It was your actions that put yourself here. So it's it's a self-reflection type of a thing. Look 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 to yourself first. Look in the mirror. Michael Jackson song. You want to make a change? Look at the man in the mirror. Nu ska James få besöka några nordiska mjuka fängelser i Finland, Sverige och Norge. Och frågan är hur mycket han kommer att mjukna under resans gång. Välkommen till Tavastehus fängelse, byggt 1972 som kvinnofängelse. Men eftersom det inte fanns så många kvinnliga fångar så börjar man ganska snabbt inhysa män där också. Um, I'm looking forward to see the uh, physical plant. Uh, what type of programmatic services they, they, they offer? Is there a mindset that it's the prison's responsibility to change people or is it the inmates responsibility to change themselves? Because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just curious to see how, how all that will, will, will play out. A lot of folks uh, unfamiliar with prisons think that that it's it's the prison's job to make sure this person comes out as a law-abiding citizen. And those of us in prison realize that's that's not the case. Kyllä Suomessa niin kun enemmän pyritään siihen kuntoutta, kuntouttavaan toimintaan ja se että saatas vangit pois tästä vankilakierteestä ja rikoskierteestä. Eli uskotaan siihen ihmisen, ihmisen muutokseen ja se, että, että se käsitys, mitä mulla on yhdysvaltalaisesta vankeenhoidosta, niin kyllähän se enemmän on sitten, että siellä uskotaan tähän rangaistavuuteen ja että ne ihmiset niin kuin säilötään sinne vankilan muurien sisäpuolelle pois sieltä yhteiskunnasta. Tavaste huusfängelse inhyser 172 interner och säkerhetsklassas som medium. Hit placerar man också mammor med barn under tre år. At the moment we have only two female prisoners here and capacity is for five female prisoners. And all their activities take place within this unit right here. Yes. yes. Recreation, meals, meals. The only time they go out is when they have this outside exercise or when they go to the gym. You've taken the time and, and to make this 
a very family-friendly environment. It yes. does look like a prison. All the toys are put away. Much better than my son's house. <laughs> Av fundamentalt enkla biologiska skäl är det inte alltid helt lätt att kombinera fångar av olika kön. We've had uh, our experiences in uh, New York State with co-ed facilities and they were very unsuccessful. Why is that? Um, there was a lot of interaction between the male and female. Um, a lot of um, uh, inappropriate activity took place between them and it was too, too staff intensive to, to to deal with it, so they decided to separate. It sounds uh, it's a bit difficult to deal with. Are they are they in class together? No, right now? they used to be. Okay, but as you said, it, uh, a lot of bathroom calls to the class. Well, no, no bathroom, but uh, when they had their breaks. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, all the schedules and the workshop they are separately. So we are trying to, let's say. Divide the activities so they, there is no encounters. But you have but separate them. shower facilities, shop, yeah, 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 separate, yes, 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 all yes. that stuff. Right? So yes. they coexist in different and, uh, worlds and dif in same separate in same saunas building. also. Do you have any issues with male staff and female inmates, or there female has, staff and There has male been inmates? sometimes rumors, but uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, let's say hasn't been. Uh, That's a constant evidence problem in, in New York. Yeah. Constant. Jarmo förvisar en typisk nordisk cell åt James. Aha. Som i sin tur förklarar hur en typisk amerikansk genomgång av cellen skulle gå till. I would search the bed first, totally top to by everything comes off, and then leave that in a pile, and then go around the room systematically and put everything on the bed that I'm frisking. So that when she came back in, all of her property would be right here on the bed. So you don't put them back where they were? When the, oh, okay. That's her job. For people that work in prisons, in my experience, tend to be rather cynical. I would be cautious to, to give the inmate the uh, impression that because I'm so caring, I'm also weak, because we're not. You can have a humane system, but if I take advantage of your humanity or your kindness, um, I'm, 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 gonna get, I'm gonna get put down. Vi fortsätter vidare till anstalten i Kumla, kanske det närmaste Attica vi har här i Norden. I Kumla sitter tungt kriminella med långa straff och säkerhetsklassen är hög. Ja, det ska bli kul att visa honom mitt fängelse och jag tror att han kommer känna igen sig väldigt väl här från sin, sin erfarenhet från USA. I huvudsak så tror jag att vi är väldigt nära varandra i grundprincipen och han kommer känna igen sig mycket här. James, han blir snabbt imponerad. Det looks like a prison. His uh, double uh, chain link fence around the, the compound provides you know, enhanced security from what we saw before. There's also cameras that uh, record activity, any illicit activity in the area around, around the facility. Kenneth. Hello. James Welcome. Connelly. Welcome to Kumla. Thank you. I'm pleased to meet you. I'm very impressed with your operation up to this point. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I'm going to be more impressed as, as we go on. I hope so. Now we are at the control room of this prison. Uh, it's a new technical system, a new uh, uh, alarm system, a new camera setting. Everything is quite new. About about 800 cameras to total in the prison. The, the director, governor, he's 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 in charge knowledgeable. There's nothing he didn't know. Um, he was very um, open and friendly with the staff. You could tell that they respected him when he came through. Trots hög säkerhet och gedigen bevakning så har Kumla haft sina incidenter. Kenneth berättar om en av dem vintern 2004. We had three prisoners in the yard at the time. It was January. Uh, six o'clock in the evening, so it was complete darkness. 
only the, the lamps on. Uh, two men come, come from the outside with uh, ladders, raised them to the wall, climbed up, another ladder knelt down, and uh, they had machine guns. One of them had uh, uh, some sort of uh, tool, so he ran to the net, cut it open, took the three prisoners out while, one, while the other one was at the top of the wall with a machine gun, and uh, up the ladders and away. Fifteen minutes, all in all. Was this fence here then? Yes. They cut it through. They had a tool with, I don't know what the Metal expressive. cutting tool of yes. some type. So, yeah. It was done in seconds. He's experienced some tough issues. Nästa anhalt är Svartsjö med en minimalt säkerhetsklassad öppen anstalt med 83 platser. Hit kommer du just för en frigivning för att du ska kunna vänja dig till ett liv utanför murarna. Men vår ankomst och framförallt våra tv-kameror uppskattas inte av alla. Han, vet du vad? Får jag prata med dig? Han kommer att ta bort alla ansikten på film. Jag ska inte vara med. Jag ska inte behöva sitta inne på rummet för de här. Nej, men de kommer inte att visa något ansikte överhuvudtaget. Hallå? Men vi går och pratar med dem i centralvakten då. Ja. Kom. Så, so, this is the living quarter. Let's go in and have a look. And yet secure. Ganska snabbt lär vi oss att det första James lägger märke till i ett rum är de grejer du kan göra vapen av. Cayenne pepper is something that you wouldn't see typically. Throw it in your face, burn your eyes. På Svartsjö har man också kor. Hederliga kor kan tilläggas. De finns där för att de intagna helt enkelt ska lära sig empati och lära sig att ta hand om saker och ting. Mjuka, lurviga, rara kor för hårda, brottsbenägna individer. Hur köper James konceptet? Det makes perfect sense to me. It, it teaches them what real work means and, and the, the product of their efforts and, uh, and they perform a service. James är lite frånvarande eftersom han kan inte släppa den där incidenten i morse med internen som protesterar. Would this be a good time to talk about the guy with the white hood this morning? Yeah, sure. Um, we would never allow an individual to cover their, their face up. Um, we couldn't identify him. That's, that's number one. He would be called in and he would be given some, some kind of a sanction for, for that episode this morning. If he, if he likes to walk every day, he wouldn't walk for five days. I'm not here to reprimand people. I'm not here to be the bad guy. You want to hit him where it hurts. If a guy never gets any visits, there's no point in giving him a loss of visitation sanction because he never gets a visit. Mm. So you want to try to impress upon him the importance of abiding by the rules by imposing a sanction that, that, that means something to him. I think this sounds like a very old way of uh, child rearing. Child rearing, you know, when you take away privileges and, um, you know, I'm up here and I can tell you off. We didn't ask them to come here. Don't blame anybody else for your, 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 your situation, in other words. Um, what if you tried to be more therapeutic? Would you have ha happy, happier prisoners if you tried it, you know, their way? No. Why not? Why are you so sure? Our, our prisoners would try to manipulate the system. They misinterpret kindness for weakness. På kvällen ringer James sin gamla kollega John hemma i Buffalo för att ventilera saken. He was obviously in an agitated state. He was objecting to our being there. He didn't want his mother to see him on camera. So that's why he was walking around the facility with a white hood on his head. <clears throat> This was an inmate? Yes. Oh. Um, And I asked if there was going to be any sanction imposed on his behavior that morning. And they said no. They thought it was over with and that they handled it and he went back to his... I said, well, they said, well, he likes to go for, for walks at 8 o'clock in the morning. So I said, well, in our environment, he probably wouldn't be going for any walks for about seven days. <laughs> Vi 
Vi talar om fängelser i Norden, mjuka, humana fängelser där fångens integritet och rehabilitering är högst på agendan. Och med oss har vi James Conway, före detta chef för Attica State Prison i USA. Och hans linje är hård. Det är du som väljer fängelse och det är du som tar konsekvenserna. Prison is not supposed to be comfortable. Prison is not a comfortable situation. Society is supposed to be comfortable. The inmate has given up his right to be in society by violating laws, by violent crime, by committing murder, by committing rape. Um, that person shouldn't be coddled, shouldn't be given a situation where um, we're concerned about how, how they would feel if they were somebody who was to walk by their cell and see them on the toilet. Who, who cares how they feel? Men hur mjuka är våra fängelser sist och slutligen? Krista Karlsson, han har suttit i alla varianter av anstalter du bara kan tänka dig i sammanlagt 27 år. Idag är han en hederlig man, en fri man. Och vi frågar Krista, är nordiska fängelser så lätta att vistas i som det sägs? I, I have, have visit from... Uh from uh, Russia and Belarus and they have been inside prison and uh, inside custody you know if if you have solarium in the custody it's uh, they think it's it's, it's like a, a hotel so uh, some of the people if they they ask if they can change the hotel to that custody so uh, yeah i can agree and it's not a good thing that they are soft Yeah, I think it's uh, it's uh, it's good to behave to 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 treat people with with the human uh, thinking. I think it's good because uh, if you are uh, treat them badly, they be badly more badly by themselves and do some more awful crime when they come out. Vår resa börjar närma sig sitt slut. Återstår ett fängelse för James att besöka. Ett fängelse helt i linje med den humana nordiska varianten. Eller kanske till och med alldeles, alldeles där i fronten. Välkommen till Halden, också kallat världens mest humana fängelse. Byggt 2010 under mottot En järnhand i Silkes handske. Jag tror de kan väl bli överraskad över ja, i hans öjne hur liberalt det kanske är i Halden fängsel. Um, det är väl det jag kanske är mest spänd på. Det skyldes ju den norska rätt, vad ska jag säga, si, i vilken riktning norsk kriminalomsorg har gått i senare åren, hvor man hvor vi tillägg till straffelementet också har mycket fokus på tillbakaföring till samhället. där tror jag kanske vi har en större tyngd på det, det elementet av straffgenomföringen än vad kanske USA har. Säkerhetsklassen är hög. Hallen inhyser 252 fångar. Och platsen är ute i en vacker avskild norsk landsbygd. Keeping the trees, keeping the rocks uh, makes in a way the, the environment softer uh, and, and keeping a, a feeling of more normality instead of using just concrete anywhere. Halden är egentligen ett slags experiment. Det vill säga vad händer med återfallsprocenten om man behandlar fångar så jämlikt och respektfullt som bara möjligt? Är det helt enkelt så att snällhet alltid föder snällhet? Det vill man utreda här. Surprised to see uh, metal silverware in a high security and uh, facility. A very well equipped kitchen environment. Glassware and porcelain plates. Very functional, however, very sharp and 
Breakage pretty simple. Och snällheten har sina sidor. So, this is the average cell in whole business. So every cell is identical actually. Yeah. Fången ska till exempel få röka på cellen om han eller hon så bara vill. It's a difficult issue also in Norway about the smoking. Um, because uh, this is the working environment for the officers and the smoking or sorry the working environment in Norway should be smoking free but on the same time it's 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 the uh, it's a privacy also for the inmates so so it's two is a clash between two needs there it's the the inmates which is in a way his his, his private living area and on the same time it's the working environment for the officers so so that's two interests uh, clashing together actually i would think i would think the victim the victim crime victims would would be opposed to this type of a living arrangement for the for the criminal just my own that's my opinion mm. Yeah, maybe right, maybe not. If I was to go to Attica's honor block and pick four or five inmates and set them down and said, here's your project for today. I want you to draw me up the prison of your dreams. They would probably come back with some kind of a Halden model. This is prison utopia. This is the best prison you could ever imagine if you were an inmate. That's far from a prison in my in my experience. Oh, what are the possibilities to use internet for uh, the inmates? The use of internet is an uh, integrated part of all teaching in Norway nowadays. So those going to school uh, can apply for something called internet for inmates which is uh, um, uh, a very limited uh, version of internet where with the predefined sites that you can visit. Uh, you are under surveillance. Uh, we check every day a log to see where have you been, what have you tried to search for, etc. Have you found any strange search words? That has happened. And it has what types? They have searched, for instance, for uh, other inmates to find out maybe what they are here for. And uh, that's the kind of use that we do not accept. Yeah. So, so when we started this Internet for Inmates, we did have some reactions uh, to begin with, but as uh, they see that things have consequences, um, the use is uh, more in line with the guidelines afterwards. Mm. What's your take on Internet in, in Attica? Zero. James upptäcker plötsligt en hylla med DVD-skivor. Being a library, I assume like I can take a book out and take it back to my cell and read it. Can I take out a yeah. DVD? Yes, you take it back to my cell and, and watch it. Yes. I'm looking for Escape from Alcatraz. Allra längst inne på området vi håller den fängelset når vår resa sin kulma. Wow. Um, I'm having a hard time believing that I'm in a prison. I've never seen anything like this anywhere, um, in, in, inside a, a, a correctional facility. You're, la you're laughing. I, I am, because I, it's, 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 it's rather e extravagant with some of the equipment on both sides of the window. Um, and I'm trying to get my head around um, what type of a employment um, we are preparing an individual for in this kind of environment. I'm more used to teaching inmates or helping inmates get their graduate equivalency diploma or teaching them woodworking or small engine repair or how to fix a TV or radio. Um, well, I, I can understand your questions because this is probably the, the, the part of the facility that raises the most questions. Really. Eyebrows yeah. that, yeah. Um, you would always see an interaction between the officers and the inmates. That's a, a vital part, actually, of the Norwegian Correctional Services uh, ideology. Hmm. How does that interaction sound to you? We have uh, ping pong tables in the honor block. And there have been occasions when the officer plays ping pong with the inmates, but if they get caught, they get 
counseled and disciplined, and they are told they're not they're not supposed to be doing that. Why 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 are they supposed? That's to not do why that? you were hired. You were hired to be a security officer, a, a correction officer. Your job is safety and security. But extravagant. It can look so, so when when you when you see look around you, but uh, but again, from a Norwegian perspective, um, from a Norwegian welfare society perspective, uh, I'm not quite sure. James Conway, före detta fängelsedirektör från Buffalo, USA, har besökt fyra fängelseanstalter i Norden. Resan den slutar här i det norska fängelset Halden. Och James, han är skeptisk. This, this is off the map as far as I'm, I'm concerned. And, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed with the operation. Um, I'm also taken aback by some of the things that I saw. But. I, I think their 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 model is um, when you have an unlimited budget, their model is fine and it's it's all um, wine and roses. But uh, I think when the incident happens down the road, they're going to have to make some, some some changes. Everybody's not going to go along with with their uh, treatment plan that um, we're doing this to help you. Somebody's going to go against the grain. There's always a, a case, and if they if I'm wrong, then I'll. Uh, I'll chalk it up to I'm wrong. I mean, it, but I, I think within five, I, I'd like to see the five-year model. I'd like to see it go for, for 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 five years and see what happens. How many inmates got stabbed? How many got tried to escape? How many assaulted a staff member? <laughs>